What's going on guys, John here and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video. Today we're going to be doing another variant comparison video for you guys. And it's going to be, and it's going to be on the EBR 800. So now the EBR 800 is an is a sniper rifle slash assault rifle gun, but by default it is a sniper rifle and it is a hybrid. It is currently one of three hybrids in the game. We should be expecting another one very soon, but that's for a different video. It might come Tuesday, just an FYI. Uh, but that's a maybe. Um, so we're going to be comparing the Osiris and the Bomber. Those are both the only two epics available for the EBR, and, and I don't think we're going to get any more because the three epics to any one gun is just going to be too much in my opinion, and I really don't think we need any more. Two is just fine. Um, and these two guns are completely different, but before I actually get into them, I do want to talk about some of the base stats and how they are the same so there's no confusion later on in the video. First off, I want to say that the they both deal 95 damage in the sniper mode, uh, plus the you know multipliers, of course, whether you shoot them in the torso or in or in the head. The aim down sight time is pretty standard at 250 milliseconds. Um, and in assault rifle mode, uh, it shoots at about 630 rounds per minute, dealing 30 damage up to 35 meters and dropping down to 24, anything beyond 35 meters. Uh, so it's gonna be between a four and a five shot to kill. So that's pretty impressive, um, in a way. Uh, okay, let, let's see what else. Oh, so like the idle sway is pretty gross on both of them. They have the most idle sway out of any sniper rifle in the game. They actually have more than the KBS longbow. And also the movement speed on these guys is 90%. And last but not least, the alternation time. The time it takes you to go from sniper to assault rifle and then from assault rifle back to sniper m mode it's both the same at about 100 milliseconds so these are all the base stats these don't change here we have the osiris so now that that's the first epic and it's been in, in the game since day one and it costs 4,000 salvage as all epics tend to do unless you're locked behind the quartermaster collection that could cost you real skrilla skrilla dollar bills but this one actually you can craft and it's 4,000 salvage. And so now the epic perk on this is actually called Hunter Killer. So that means that enemies at low health are highlighted. And also there's no more sniper glints. And of course the common perk on this is Sharpshooter. That's not really going to help you in the sniper mode because snipers have infinite damage ranges. It's going to help you maybe just a little bit in the assault rifle mode. Although that's just going to be like a plus 5 damage range. So maybe that can make the difference um, just just slightly. But it's really not too useful. But you know that's whatever. So I do want to talk about that epic perk Hunter Killer. Um, and it's actually pretty cool in a way. Because enemies at 50% health or less are going to be highlighted red. And the cool thing about this is that unlike Pinpoint. You do not need to have dealt them any damage. Any enemies, no matter how or who got them to 50% health, they are going to be highlighted a deep red and it's hard to miss. Um, it's a lot more obvious than it is with Pinpoint. So it's kind of like a Pinpoint, um, except a little cooler. You don't have to be scoped in to see the enemies at low health. Um, however, you cannot see them through walls. Um, and zombies, I'm not too sure, correct me if I am wrong, I'm pretty sure that you can see them from all the way across the map um, if you are using the Osiris variant. However, in this game you can't, um, of course you don't have to be scoped in so that's pretty cool too. And also there's no more sniper glint. So what that means is, um, of course as it sounds, whenever you are aiming down the sights in the sniper mode, there is going to be no shine or glint as it's called here uh, to give away the fact that you're using a sniper rifle. Because I know me personally, whenever I see that glint in the distance like on maps like Terminal, Retaliation and Crusher, I know that's to do with a sniper rifle and they're probably not too great if they had to just sit there and wait for me. So just thrust jump out of there and whoop. You just you have an idea of where they are They're probably not gonna move because they probably don't assume that you saw them This kind of worries me because like I said there are people who do hang out at the back of the map Just waiting for it like anybody to run in their sights so that they could pop them And this is really gonna help them out because there's no way anybody's gonna know that you are running a Sniper rifle even in the kill feed. Um, they're probably just gonna think that you're using um, the assault rifle mode all when you're not because nobody can tell um, of course unless they watch the kill cam if you're in just regular core mode this is actually very handy I saw in hardcore because there is no kill cam and also um, whenever you see somebody just running down the map if they're dumb enough to do that in hardcore uh, they're just they won't see you coming they won't even know what happened and chances are they're probably gonna run down the same way and just some people are just dumb like that but you know, whatever. Um, one thing to, to do, keep in mind, 
if you alternate between assault rifle and and sniper rifle mode a lot is that in sniper mode you have six rounds in the mag and 12 in the reserve um and that does translate in one way or another to the assault rifle mode which gives you 30 rounds in the magazine and then 60 in the reserve uh so that's gonna be a little weird if you take like three shots in the sniper rifle mode and then you alternate into assault rifle mode you're not gonna have all three uh all 30 rounds um or actually you might either way you're gonna have less ammo pro like progressively as you take your shots you're gonna have less and less ammo and then you're gonna then you're gonna get to a point where you might have three sniper shots left but then as soon as you turn it into uh assault, assault rifle mode you might have like 15 shots there so um it does kind of convert if you want to think about it that way um that is something to keep in mind if you are the type of person who, who likes to alternate a lot and before we move on i do want to say that this has the cleanest iron sights in the assault ri rifle mode of all other var variants as far as the ebr 800 is concerned it has the cleanest ones the other ones it's not that they're not clean they're kind of weird. I really don't like them. This has the cleanest iron sights. I am going to give it that um, A plus on those iron sights. I really do like them. So now let's move on to the EBR 800 Bomber. The Bomber is probably my second favorite sniper rifle. And it is a completely different gun as far as snipers go. It is completely different. And yes, some of you might point at the spectacle and say, oh, that's a completely different gun. Although it's really not. Um, if you throw like an ELO sight or... Yeah, if you throw like an Elo, like uh, an Elo say on the base model, it's it's gonna be the same thing almost. And I do think that the zero glint would have benefited more on the spectacle, but you know whatever it is, what what it is. Let's talk about the bomber. This one is pretty fun. So as I said, now the epic perk on this is actually called Triad, and that's a charge three round sniper burst. And of course, the common perk on there is presence of mind, which gives you infinite hold of breath. I do want to point out that in the perk description, it's very specific when it says sniper burst, um, because you are not going to get a three round burst weapon in the assault rifle mode that's still going to be fully automatic. The only burst you're going to get is in that sniper mode, and even then, um, it's not like the r3k because there is a short delay um it is charged so like whenever you pull the trigger uh there's going to be a 250 millisecond delay before pulling the trigger and actually the shots leave leaving the gun and they leave the gun at a rate of about 1100 rounds per minute so that is crazy fast but if you are spamming the trigger you are going to be shooting at 210 rounds per minute or you know in one minute you are going to have taken 210 shots if you spam the trigger if you guys kind of see where i'm coming at you from um there is a short delay so you know it, there is a bit of a learning curve i will say that and also because it is a three round burst at those longer distances if you're not going to shoot somebody head on and they're running across the map and then you're staring at them from the side be careful don't drag scope lead your shot because if you drag scope your shots are going to spread especially at those longer distances they are going to spread a whole lot more it's going to be a lot more noticeable so your best bet is just to lead your shot um, it has a small learning curve. It's honestly not too bad. Chances are, if you played Black Ops 3, you probably touched the PO6 at one point or another. This is pretty much the PO6 in every way, except it's an infinite warfare and it's an energy weapon and it's quote unquote epic here. Actually, no, it is epic. Take off those quotes. This gun is actually really damn good. And now, if you did pay attention when I was talking about the base stats, the sniper mode deals 95 damage in sniper rifle mode, and this is a three round burst. That means it deals. 285 damage a burst and that's deadly man uh that's pretty insane um however do not expect col collaterals to come left and right um although they can happen as i said that drag scope mechanic does make your shot spread so if you're staring at two people or like maybe there's a group you could maybe just uh you know just drag your your scope maybe just a little quick to spread them out and you might be able to get shots like that i've done it before it's been a complete accident um unintentional whenever i try to do it intentionally it just doesn't happen for me but hey you might be a god you might be a cod god and it might happen for you but it just doesn't happen for me um, but other than that, oh no, I do want to say that this gun did recently receive a quote-unquote nerf. It's not really a nerf. It used to be that this gun had zero recoil, and that was amazing. And now they give it just a little bit of recoil. Although, I don't understand what exactly they were trying to accomplish, because it, cause it's not a lot. I mean, just look. This is the recoil on the Osiris. And now this is the recoil on the bomber. So 
so as you so as you can see with the bomber the scope comes right back down down to center and then with the delay of the charge uh burst um your shots aren't going to go all over the place it's going to come right back down and then you're going to have just barely enough time or just exactly enough time i should say to uh, keep on spamming the trigger and you don't need foregrip on here as i see a lot of people run with uh and i don't understand you really don't need it i mean i could see you using it on the osiris or you know any other ebr just not on the bomber um however uh, that being said, I also want to say that with this gun, you don't need to worry about converting the ammo counts because whether you're in assault rifle mode or in sniper mode, you have 21 rounds in the mag. So there's nothing really to worry about because you know exactly how much ammo you have. And other than that, there's really nothing else to say about it. I mean, I got all the base stats out of the way and i pretty much just gave you the gist of what it is um i don't want to get too in depth with this because uh, a lot of people start to second guess everything but hey if you guys want me to go more in depth leave a like that's how i will know dropping a like means that you want me to go more in depth because i have all these stats here that i that i honestly don't want to go into uh for the length of the video and also just because um i want to keep it nice and simple um i just really want to tell you where these guns excel and and help you better decide how to spend your salvage and which gun better suits your play style um if you will like if you do want to be aggressive and uh really dominate those uh medium to long range battles i really do think that the bombers for you if you are a more conservative player and your camp central camping is your thing you know camp for life um i i do recommend going for the osiris but that's all you and however you want to spend your salvage guys i hope you enjoyed the video a like a comment and a sub is greatly appreciated they do help me out a lot um let me know what guns you guys want to see next and yeah that's it peace